What up, guys and gals? It's your boy Paul back with another episode of The, the School Zone. When we last left off, we had just cleared the streets of some raiders, grabbed the laser musket, actually dog meat fetched it for us, and we were just about to investigate the interior of this building. So let's do this. Oh, wow. Cool. Let's see if I can... Zap him from here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. Let's take out his arm. Not the most accurate thing. Sweet. <laughs> that was all over the place. Whoa. Where are you shooting from? Oh, from behind that wall there. Got to remember to keep uh, cranking that thing to recharge it. <laughs> no more British occupation. Yep, this is this is a museum. Okay, so I'm going to come back and search this whole place, so don't you worry. Where am I being detected? Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did he open the door for me? Oh, that's, that's freaking awesome, man. He'll find secret doors for you and stuff. Or, you know, at least points you in the right direction. Unlock or unlock. Now this one's a little easier. Sweet. I wonder if I was supposed to take that. <laughs> Maybe it was powering their whole little facility here. Okay. Well, I'm just going with the flow. Okay. So, where do we need to go from here? 15, 14, 13... That looks interesting. 
Okay, I'm coming back for all this stuff. Let's just figure out where we need to go. Not that way. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others, like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to you, I'll find you. We'll make that arm unusable. <laughs> Oh, that was sweet. I can't wait to start doing sneak attacks and stuff. Where'd that other guy go? Did I just fry him completely? Or Oh, there he is. Oh, did he have the right side? Whoops. Yeah, might as well quick save it, actually. Oh, it just did it for me. <laughs> Okay, so we're just missing one little piece left to make a little complete set of whatever this is. I think that's where we want to go. So let's head up there. I'm coming in there and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. Oh, it's my last charge. I gotta go take a little walk. But I'll be back, and you'll be dead. You know what? Let's switch to this. See if we can beat the guy. Oh man. Oh, no. <coughs> <Get off> me. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Oh, stop beating on my dog. A dog. That was pretty cool. Is he showing me where to go? He is. All right, I think these are friendly, so let's put our baton away and say hello. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Ah, huh. uh, that ain't it. Minutemen? So now I'm <laughs> traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. Uh, maybe? So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. Uh, and nope. I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Miniman left standing. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God wow. Damn it. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are... Irradiated people. Most Maybe. are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up nope. and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Nah, They'll rip you apart it. just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. 
Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rats, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. <laughs> now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. So he mentioned impeccable. Impeccable means flawless or perfect. And you may have also heard the term Minutemen from American history. Minutemen were American colonists who formed a militia to battle the British during the Revolutionary War. They were named the Minutemen because they were so mobile and quickly deployed. The most famous of the Minutemen was Paul Revere. So he also used the term irradiated. That means someone or something that has been exposed to high amounts of radiation. Now I'll talk more about RADs and radiation in an upcoming episode, you know, once we get to things like the radiation storms and stuff. Definitely some interesting facts there. And he used the word feral. Normally feral means wild or undomesticated, but in this context though, it can also mean savage or brutal. I don't know why I needed that, but. All right, let's figure out how to get upstairs again. want to get over there. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm lost already. All right, it's got to be around the corner over here. Careful, kid. There we go. Lordy, lordy. Here we go. Okay. So there's our power armor. Let's just check out all this other stuff real quick before we jump in it. We will definitely read that later. Did you find something? <laughs> He's so funny. All right, let's jump in this thing. Sweet. I don't know what that big list is all about, but let's just hit enter and jump in it. Man, I feel like I'm in a big deep sea diving suit or something. All right, well, let's grab this gun. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, I want to spend my other point. Thought about it for a second, and I think it might be fun to pick up this mysterious stranger, especially early in the game when there's more chances of being triggered. 
And this was one of my favorite perks from Fallout 3. It was just so fun. That little twang and that guy jumps out and saves your ass. My luck's pretty good too, so it might get triggered fairly often. Okay. Good deal. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to go to my inventory and see if I've got a long range gun of some kind. Let's sort by range. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Range, here we go. Short pipe revolver rifle. Well, that's sweet. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, fave that one. How about if we put that up here for now? What's the range on this one? Oh, that's not too bad, too. Okay. All right, well, let's, uh, let's grab this thing, though, because I think this will be the most active for the moment. Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Oh, sweet. You can use uh, vats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you poor innocent fool. <laughs> so how are you guys enjoying the channel so far? Leave me a comment in the comment section. All right, well, let's collect all this stuff. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. You know what? I want to maybe save this ammo in the minigun. Give you that. So Stay let's away, switch God. to something else. How about we switch to... Let's sort by range. Oh, that is some sweet range, but the accuracy is nuts. So let's switch to this uh, rifle. I only have 14 oh. shots. Maybe I can get lucky. <laughs> Stick out his arm. Got this one. Sweet. All right, let's go for another arm shot here. I missed. Where's that mysterious stranger? No, no AP, darn. Damn it. Oh, there's another one. Am I out? I'm already out. Okay, so let's switch to the 10 millimeter and let's hop down there and get into the action. <laughs> I hop down and blast. <laughs> what was that? I want to know what that was. I'm going to have to check that in post. Oh, here we go. Right arm. Perfect. There we go. All right, maybe we have a shotgun of some kind. Let me see if I have a shotgun. There we go. Let's get in there with this bad boy. Oh, you go, dog meat. But blam Pwned. That's what I'm talking about. What? What? Oh, Oh, 
Okay, that's not gonna work. Time for the minigun. <laughs> that's what this mug's for. Let's take out his leg. Oh, we're we gotta we gotta get some cover. How about in here? Can he get in here? Come on. Oh, I don't have any vats left, that's why. How about... Why does it keep changing on me? There we go. Where are you going? Oh, it's going over there. Oh, now it's coming back for me. <laughs> Why are you still shooting me when there's a death claw out there? Oh man, you're gonna get it now. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to shoot the death claw. Perfect. You stay back while I mow you down. Oh, he's coming back at me. I don't have any action points. You stay right there. Oh, here we go. I don't know if that does a whole lot with the minigun. But we can take him out now. Oh, I'm just going to smack him upside the head. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. Yeah. My first death claw. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Okay, I want to I get to something a little lighter for the moment. Let's go back to our 10 millimeter. Okay. All right. So, let's collect all this stuff just in case it goes missing when we go back inside. I don't think it will, but you never know. Oh, that was so much fun. Glad I conserved that ammo. What is down there? Okay, I don't want to go down there just yet. <laughs> I'm going to search all this stuff around here when I get a chance. I'll take that. Is there more? Oh, there's one last fool trying to be slick. Okay, so dog meat, come over here real quick. Transfer some more stuff to you. Hey. Over here. Wait there. There we go. Okay. 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh, he had a fusion cell. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys won't disappear, but I am just collecting everything. That guy had a key to a car. Because you never know when these things might disappear in this game. All right, dog meat. Hey. Got to give you some more stuff. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay. Well, 
Well, we're moving super slow. I wonder if I can just get out of the armor here. Yeah, I don't want to drop anything just yet. And I don't think that'll go missing. If it does, I'm not a fan of it. So, oh, I'm still moving slow. Can we transfer things to this thing? No, can't do any of that. Okay, I guess we'll have to drop some stuff. Maybe I can put it in a container somewhere around here, just, just for a half a second. One hour later. All right. So that did the trick. All right, you hang out there and be a good uh, little watchdog and uh, keep an eye on that armor while I go talk to these Minutemen. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Well, thanks. Everyone okay? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Sweet. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. <laughs> My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. All's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. <laughs> Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. <laughs> We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here... I'm a Murphy's a method. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? <laughs> and now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? And I'm from there, I know it's real. Anybody? Me? Well, Sturgis. You coming with us Come to on, Sanctuary? Joe, it's time to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure Preston can handle anything we find until we reach Sanctuary. You know, I was hoping they would have a better door exiting graphic instead of them just vanishing, but... You know, hey, I'm not complaining too much. This game has been freaking incredible so far. After you. Get going. Diamond City is where you need to head. Okay. 
Let's uh, head on out, see where they're going. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Awesome. He's still watching the power armor. That's killer. Okay. Well, let me check my, uh, my VAT or my Pip Boy here and see what our quest situation is. So I have two quests now. So it doesn't look like I have to go with them. I think I can go ahead and start branching off on my own now, which is exactly what I want to do, because I want to totally raid this village and uh, figure out a way to start selling or collecting or storing or whatever. Let's just go over and see if this little container was safe. It was. Okay, at least for the time being. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end the episode here. We will pick up... <laughs> You're awesome. I wonder if there's a way I can rename you from dog. Anyway. All right. So we're going to end it here. And uh, I'm going to do a little grinding between uh, this episode and the next episode. So I can uh, get a little more familiar with uh, the whole storage situation. Rack up some caps. And uh, look into some more perk options and all that jazz. So that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Got to take out a freaking death claw here. That was awesome with a minigun. <laughs> Gotta love that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you learned a few things. If you haven't seen the last episode, definitely click that center annotation box. That'll take you right to it. If you want to check out some of my other series, I'm also playing some Call of Duty and some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And if you're brand new to the channel and want to learn more about it, click that annotation box on the right. That'll take you to the homeroom announcements where I talk a little bit about the channel, things that are going on, all that jazz. Crush that like button, share this video around, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Stay smart.